Hey guys, welcome back to another Swift tutorial and in today's tutorial I'm going to be explaining how to use um, more than one table view inside of a single view controller. So a lot of people don't know but the answer is actually really simple. So all you, the basic logic is you'll just set a different tag to each table view and it's really simple but many people get confused because they get confused like what do I set the delegate as or what do I do with it so and so yeah I'll explain how to do it in this video so what I'll do first is add in let's add in two table views just to keep it simple so you don't go too over the top so you can have one table view there and another one there and We'll make this one go zero, zero, zero. I just want to make it fill up the whole screen, and we'll have it uh, horizontally in center, and we'll also give it a height constraint of. Uh, let me think. Uh, how high is this? This whole frame. Eight hundred ninety-six. Okay, so half of that would be four hundred and ninety-eight. So if I just give a height constraint of four hundred and ninety-eight, then we should be all good. I should probably give that to the super view zero. Okay, now I can give this other one a constraint of zero, 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 zero. There we go. So now we can give each of these table views a cell. So we can call both of them just cell. Uh, we'll just call this cell. We will call this cell cell, and we'll call this cell cell. They don't they don't need to be different. And this is the important part. You set the tag so this top one will be zero, and this bottom one will be one. So we can identify which one is which. And now it's basically the same as setting up any sort of table view. So what I can do is create an outlet here. So what I can do is table view. That's our first one. And we can have table view one. Uh, I should also make two lists. So in my two lists, I'll have uh, let numbers equals uh, that's a list. We'll have one, two, three. Ah, oh, I should probably make it words just to make it a bit more, you know, easier to see. But you know, three, four, and what we'll five. And then we'll have animals. So we'll have cow, uh, lamb, chicken. Uh, what else can we have? We can have horse, horse, and uh, we'll have giraffe. I don't know why I always think of giraffe, but yeah. Okay, now we can set these two table views, data source and delegate to the view controller. So dot delegate equals cell table view dot data source equals cell table view one dot delegate equals self table view one dot data source equals self and it's just like setting a normal table view except you're doing everything twice so you should have four errors there if we create an extension of a view controller then have UI table view delegate and UI table view data source then these errors should go away and now it's going to ask us to add protocol subs and here so to differentiate them what you would do is if table view if table view table view dot tag is equal to zero so that's the first one then we want the first one to have numbers so we we'll we want to return numbers dot count else it'll be uh, tag is equal to 1 because it's the bottom one we want to turn animals.count and now in this what we can do is the same table view 
if table view dot tag is equal to zero we want to ha let's actually we can create oh no no mind we can't uh, let's help us a uh, table view dot oh one sec oh we should have selected this there dot the cube usable cell with identifier name for index path index path cell dot text label dot text is equal to and then we'll have numbers oh what am I doing? numbers index path dot row we want to return this cell else tag is equal to one uh, I'm just coming to my work so it's easier to read table view one dot dq resource cell for index path cell dot text label dot text is equal to animals index path dot row and now I can just return this cell so this is let's see if this works if I just run this on iPhone 12 mini and we should have two table views each with their own list so if I just run this it should come up with uh, two table views there we go so this is the first table view and this is the second one so yeah that's how you have multiple table views in a table view I mean have single view controller if you, on, if you want to have more than one you can just add them in and then change the tag to whatever and then you just uh, you just uh, if else statement it here so yeah anyway thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in a later video bye